Welcome to digitalconstructive.com and in this video we're taking a quick look at the North Carolina plumbing license. Now below the video we've got timestamps that will take you to specific sections so that you can find the information you're looking for as quickly as possible. Now in the state of North Carolina, plumbers are governed by an agency known as the Board of Plumbing, Heating, and Fire Sprinklers. There are currently four separate levels. You can go for the Class 1, Class 2, Restricted Limited, or the Plumbing Technician. Now the Class 1 allows you to work on potable water and drain waste vent piping systems in any building, residential, commercial, or industrial. For this one, you'd need two years totaling in 4,000 hours of on-site full-time experience in the installation, maintenance, service, or repair of plumbing or heating systems. Now, up to one half totaling in 2,000 hours of that experience may be in academic or technical training directly related to the field. Next, we have the Class 2. This one allows you to work on potable water and drain waste vent piping systems in single-family detached dwellings only. For this one, you'd need two years, 4,000 hours of experience, specifically in the installation, maintenance, service, or repair of plumbing or heating systems. Up to one half, 2,000 hours, can come from an academic or technical training facility. Next, we have the Restricted Limited Plumbing Contractor. This one allows you to work on exterior building sewer piping, exterior water service piping, two inches or less, exterior backflow preventers on two inches or less of piping, and water filtration systems. For this one, you need only nine months, totaling in 1,500 hours of full-time experience. Up to one half, 750 hours of that experience can come from an academic or technical training facility. And lastly, we have the plumbing technician. This is basically required of any individual who is a bona fide employee of a firm licensed by a plumbing contractor and performs supervisory duties of the firm's employees and their work on behalf of the contractor. Now, the plumbing technician must be a sub-licensee of a licensed plumbing contractor. For this one, you need 18 months, totaling in 3,000 hours of on-site full-time experience. Now, as a plumbing technician, you would not be able to bid. It's simply just a technician certification or license. Now, the requirements for any of these classifications are that you're at least 18 years of age. You've got to meet the experience requirements. You've got to be approved by the board. And then obviously, you've got to pass the exam. Now, all of the classifications, except for the technician uh, license, require that you pass the North Carolina laws and laws and rules business exam. However, on the trade side of the exam, you can expect a lot of these different topics, you know, interceptors and traps, isometric analysis, backflow prevention. Obviously, it's going to fluctuate based on which certification you're going for, but a lot of this information is stuff that you're going to want to be familiar with. We've got practice exams and courses that you can find in the links below that can prepare you for pretty much everything that you're going to encounter. Now, obviously, fees are always changing so we've got a list of the most current up-to-date fees that you can find below this video as well as links to the application for the various different classifications so you'll definitely want to check that out I hope you found this video helpful drop us a comment like and subscribe to the channel uh, we're, this is digitalconstructive.com and thanks again for watching